Hello again everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be making a new unscented soap recipe uh, made with 80% olive oil and um, this is safe uh, to use on babies and mummies whether you are expecting or you're breastfeeding. Um, I've left this one uns unscented and um, I've coloured it with pink Australian clay. So um, just to cover the recipe overview, this will be made with 80% cold pressed extra virgin olive oil, 10% organic RBD or refined coconut oil, 5% organic castor oil and 5% organic uh, refined sunflower oil. And of course, because uh, we're aiming this at baby skin, so you can use coconut oil in baby skin, uh, for baby skin, like in your recipe, but I wouldn't go above 10 or 15 percent um, but I find 10 percent to be a nice um, a nice percentage so it's um, really gentle cleansing it's not gonna hurt your baby's skin um, and of course the uh, castor oil for lava and of course the sunflower oil is great for lava and um, it helps sustain the lather as well so I thought these combinations of oils really will help um, generate a nice lather and of course you know, as this is going to be used for expecting mums or mums that are breastfeeding, they would want um, a pretty good lather as well. So um, that's the thought process behind those oil combinations. And of course, because it is um, quite a large percentage of olive oil, I did a 22% water to oil ratio, and I actually did 2% sodium lactate. That's to account for the extra soft oils in the recipe. And um, I left the pink salt at 1.2%. Of course, the raw sugar, um, as you see in all my recipes, I left that at 3% and 0.7% uh, for natural vitamin E. Right, so here I'm getting ready to do the heat transfer method. As you know, that's something I love doing. I always do heat transfer method with coconut oil. Um, when it comes to other butters and uh, hard oils that are, have a much higher melt point like shea butter and cocoa butter, I don't recommend the heat transfer method. You actually do have to melt them down. Um, the, hot, the lye water won't be hot enough um, to completely melt everything down so I don't recommend that especially if the weather's cold maybe in summer like when it's hot maybe you probably have some luck with it um, I have tried it a couple times in summer myself and I hadn't had any luck with it so I just haven't repeated doing it but if it's got coconut oil for sure because coconut oil has a really low melt point so it's no problem so I'm doing the heat transfer method and I always have the sodium lactate with my coconut oil and um I just melt it down uh, with the hot lye water. It's really cold here again in Sydney. It was 14 degrees that day. Um, I made I made this um, on the weekend uh, a couple of days ago, and uh, yeah, it was about 14 degrees. So I um I added the lye water around 55 degrees Celsius just to melt the um the coconut oil, and um in in the other jug that I'm combining it now with the coconut oil when it's fully melted. It's got the olive, cast and sunflower oil, the pink clay, um, the uh, natural vitamin E, and also I added um, goat's milk to this recipe as well because um, it's really gentle um, on baby skin as well. And um, actually this soap I um, designed and I created, it's a new recipe. I never used this combination of oils before, um, but it's for a gender, it's for a friend of mine in um, Melbourne, Victoria, and she's having a gender reveal party this, this Saturday. So I thought um, I'll um, make her a baby and mummy safe soap for her to, for her to use and try. Um, so um, I'm actually gonna be, uh, sending this off um, earlier in the week um, and uh, she should get it by Saturday so um, that's like I'm looking forward to seeing her reaction and um, how she enjoys using the soap um, I will tell her the soaps aren't ready to use yet um, to just to leave them out in the open for a couple of weeks before she uses them uh, so yeah it'll be um, hopefully she'll um, like the the, these bars. I, I left three of them just plain, uh, obviously for the baby, and the other three, I, um, two of them I put rose petals on top, and um, one of them I did um, hibiscus, so I thought um, just to, you know, uh, provide some sort of 
uh, design to them, you know, an appeal uh, for for my friends. So hopefully she'll um, she'll enjoy them. And um, yeah, so that's all I have to say about this recipe. Um, I hope you enjoy the video, and um, I'll see you at the end. Right, so thanks so much for watching. Remember to share and like this video and subscribe to my channel and head on over to my Facebook and Instagram. I hope you um, enjoy the recipe as well if you give it a try and if, if you do, let me know how you go with it. I always like reading um, when people try my recipes out and sharing their experiences and uh, what they think of it uh, overall. So I look forward to hearing um, your thoughts on it. Uh, I personally haven't used this bar before so i couldn't even tell you how it feels on the skin so i'm just going to be relying on um what you know what you all think if you try the recipe and also what my friend 
how she thinks about what she thinks about it and how she um, how it feels on her skin and the feedback I get from her as well and when her daughter is born and what she um, what she lets me know you know the feedback um, in regarding to the actual soap so uh, unless I make another batch and use it for myself at home which is highly probable uh, but for now I am relying on what you all think of it so uh, thanks again for watching and uh, until next time, be safe and happy soaping. Bye for now.